Good evening and welcome to the Municipal Budget Committee meeting for October 29th. We could all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and please stay in prison. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, the Republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. I hope this, I hope everyone could stay and remain standing, please. Um, this is getting the uh, tab stopped every meeting. Uh, we lost another friend and colleague and a great member of this town in Peter Trainer recently. Um, he was a former member of this budget committee and he did a lot for this town. And at this time, I would like to take a moment of silence for his family. Thank you. Um, well, we might as well do the introduction of everybody. Can we start down here with Nick? Sure, Nick Bridal. Scott Blair. Mike Pierce. Sonny Kravitz. Brian Lapham, Vice Chairman. Stephen LeBranch. Jones. Mike Bluff. Bill Bain. Um, Eileen will not be attending tonight's meeting. She has had a um, family emergency. In fact, um, I hope she gets there because when I spoke to her, she was detoured due to that plane fire this afternoon. So she was having trouble getting to her destination, but I hope she makes it, and I hope everything works all right for her. Um, tonight, we obviously start the budget, but we would like to see if we could start it with a full board. Uh, I've had, we have had someone come forward who has been here before and kind of knows what's really going on. That'd be refreshing. Um, <laughs> um, Sandy Nickerson. Applied for this position, I guess we call it. So, um, if we have a motion. I'll nominate uh, Sandra Nickerson to fill the vacancy. I'll second that motion. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor? Unanimous. Well, not really. Well, I'll put in the, um, the Mr. rest of it. Mr. Chairman, given, yes. given the town clerk is here and we've just put Sandra in, could we ask the town clerk to give her the oath of office now so Sandra can fully participate in this meeting? It has already been done. Thank you. I am way ahead of it. So if Sandy would like to be sworn in. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. 
right? Yes, yes. Unfortunately, he's in the way, but you can sit there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Welcome back, well, Sandy. Thanks, sit over here. Yes. No, I'm fine right here. Thank you. Sorry, right, we love okay. you too, Mike. At this time, I would like to open <laughs> the budget for discussion by the budget committee. Do I have a motion? To move. Also move. Move. Okay. Okay. Can I have a book? Yes. To open, open it? Yeah. To open the, uh, the sunny? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and putting this together tonight, I did make a couple of changes to what we had. Um, we will not be meeting with the budget committee. Mm -hmm. um, we will not be meeting with the conservation committee until the 12th. Oh. Um, so I'm starting out with town education. If someone is here to speak to that. Oh, it's right in the very beginning. I need to find it. Remember also, these are only reviews. We will not be moving anything tonight, but we're here to hear any presentations that are necessary, and then we will be meeting at the final review. For a final vote. 53. 53? 53. Where's the detail? Yeah. Subway, though. It's not a line item. It's a subway item. Uh, well, I haven't got there yet, so I can't answer yet. No, wait, right, right. 500 bucks. Yeah, yeah it's not a big <coughs> amount of money. I don't know if the uh, town manager wants to speak to it. I know it was on the other night, but I, I'm just asking. You. Mr. Chairman, town beautification and patriotic purposes, we don't even need a presentation on They're pretty static items. I am just asking the time. to be courteous to him. If you want if you want a presentation, we can do one, Mr. Chairman. I don't need a major presentation. I'm just wondering if there, you know, if there are any big changes or... No changes whatsoever. Thing. Okay, that's what I assumed. Okay. That's all we need. Moving right. on that's to all we one. need. We can move on now. Thank patriotic. So on the same page. Same with patriotic same purposes. Yes. yes. Yeah. Same okay. place. Move right okay. There was a plan here. So let's just, let's just go right to the town clerk. You're doing very well. No. Man. Patriotic purposes. Yeah. Um, it's unchanged. Unchanged. It's unchanged. Okay. okay. We can move on with that. Mm -hmm. Uh, next will be the town clerk. Mm -hmm. okay. Good evening. Good evening, and thank you for coming. <coughs> okay, rather than go through my budget line by line, I thought it would be more effective to highlight the changes to the budget um, from 2015 to 2016. The town clerk's office budget is uh, divided into three sections, town clerk, voter registration, and election administration. Under the town clerk section, the lines with an increase are part-time wages. Again, this year, I am requesting funding for a new part-time file clerk for 16 hours per week at $11 per hour. This was submitted for the 2015 budget, but because the budget did not pass, a file clerk was not hired. Included in your packet is a photo of just one of the many drawers of filing that is backed up due to the flow of customers we have uh, at our office. In the photo, each elastic band represents one day. And we at our busiest times have seen three drawers full, just like this one, of registrations that need to be filed. In addition to registrations, there is filing of the title applications and various other duties that will easily keep that person busy for 16 hours per week. 
Additionally, under town clerk wages, also in your packet is a spreadsheet of comparable wages for town clerks based on population. The first version is alphabetical. The second is sorted by population. The third is sorted by annual salary. The fourth is sorted by annual revenue collected. And the last is sorted by number of vehicles registered annually. Hampton is mid-range in population in the survey, it's highest in number of motor vehicles registered, and annual revenue collected, yet lowest in annual salary. I have submitted for a 9% increase in the salary in salary for 2016. This is to correspond with the 9% recommended by the town manager, the selectmen, and the budget committee in 2014. This 9% increase still does not bring the town clerk's salary within the range of the comparative survey. Also taking into consideration, the comparative towns do not have the summer influx of residents that Hampton has. Also, um, an increase is overtime wages. Because of the nature of a busy election year, overtime increases. We have a full election year and, have, and having my staff available for additional hours is a necessity. Under the voter registration section, part-time wages, again, because we have so many um, busy elections this year, the supervisors need additional help registering voters at the polls. Because we only had the town election last year, and we all know the voter turnout for town elections is extremely low, the supervisors do not require assistance during that one election. In 2016, we have four elections plus the deliberative session. The primaries aren't necessarily the busiest elections, but they are usually high in voter registration numbers. In addition, at the presidential election in 2012, the supervisors of the checklist registered 888 new voters in one day. Under the election administration section, ballot clerk wages, again, because of the number of elections we have coming in 2016 as compared to 2015, the need for more funding for ballot clerks at, at sev the several elections is up. Not only is the need there for the number of elections, but also for the type of elections. The presidential election is historically the busiest of all elections. We increase the number of ballot clerks for each shift of the election due to the higher volume of voter turnout. Under town meeting expense, the food service for four sessions was increased from one session to four at $600 each, which increased the line item by $1,800. And uh, lastly, under election expense, uh, once again, because of the number of elections, the coding for the AccuVote memory cards that go in our um, ballot counting machines uh, brings that line item to $21,150 from $17,850 last year. So uh, bottom line presented is $252,384, which is 9% more than 2015, mostly because of the number of elections present in 2016 as compared to 2015. Thank you very much. Thank you. Do I have any questions? Uh, yes. Um, it's not so much a, a question as it is a, a feeling, a personal feeling. I know that um, you put in a 9% raise and uh, the CBAs and the cost of living and the CPI have all been going along between 1% and 2%. So I think 9 is a little high. Putting that aside, though, that's not my reason why I'm against it. I'm against it because we are elected to this body. Town clerk is elected to her job. It's up to her and the voters to decide how much she should be paid, not this committee. I wouldn't want anybody telling us how much we should be paid. We might enjoy getting paid, but we, nobody should be meddling in our business, as far as I'm concerned. When it comes to the town clerk or the tax truck or either one, they are elected officials in this town. It's up to the elected the body, legislative body, to dis determine how much they get paid. That's how I feel about that. Can I say something, Brian? Yes, you may. This is my third cycle doing <coughs> this. In the last two cycles, you have put in for a raise, and it didn't happen either time. Okay, so, and that's just, this is my third cycle. I don't know how many times prior to that that it also didn't happen. And so, it's just my opinion that I think that uh, we discussed this to death last year, and it's the same thing. So, seems to me we ought to be able to just move on in this. 
Sir? And me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so formal. <coughs> um, hi, Jane. Welcome back. Hi, Jane. Thank you. The um, points that are raised, I mean, we're not making a decision tonight on anything, so okay. I suggest that you hold off uh, taking a position until all the information is available and we review it at final review in January, which I believe is the proper process, right, Brian? Yes. Uh, Ms. Jim? That's what we agree upon. Um, <clears throat> I do have some questions. Um, the election administration, um, I know that the part-time wage is up 188 percent, respectively. Now, meaning expenses up 65 percent. These are all a result of having multiple elections coming up in 2016. Correct. So we have four <coughs> versus 2015's cost, which was only one. Right. So basically wouldn't be unreasonable to see something on order of four times. And then you add in there the fact that it's a presidential. That, mm -hmm. that adds more volume. Who's the need? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. My, my concern comes down in this area, and I hope that you can give me a, an opinion on it. Um, and we have a, this line item called election administration, which is what we're speaking on now. Yet it doesn't incorporate all of the election costs. For example, we look in DPW budget, we see DPW does some work to support mm -hmm. the election. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, we hear from the finance director that she's providing hours uh, under the MIS uh, line to support the election. And I assume probably we have police, maybe. Finance, I don't know what the finance director has. MIS. MIS is underneath finance. Also Paul and Dylan. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. We're not allowed to say those names yeah. here, though, for some reason. But in any case, uh, there seems to be election costs spread out in various areas, so they're, they're not, the electoral election costs are not clearly visible here. And right. I'm wanting to but know what your opinion is in, in terms of the appropriateness of having those costs be properly located under election administration. Well, those other employees aren't under my purview, so I can't speak to what those would be. I, they don't work for me, so I can't. Anyone that works at the election is under the town clerk, so I can't. I can't necessarily speak to what it costs for the you know police officers to be present and public works to set up. I, I wouldn't even begin to imagine what those costs are. I mean, I certainly could do the research, but as of right now, it's not under my budget, and I. I guess my opinion is I don't think they should be. The uh, supervisors of the checklist, uh, do they work for you? They are elected officials. Do they work for you? They do not work for me. Right. They are elected but, officials. But they are in your budget. Yes, they are. They are under the town clerk budget. Because of the function they perform, it makes sense that they'll be under right. registration. Right. Which is thinking I'm trying to bring forth is that since we're having functions performed for exclusively for election, even though the labor may be coming from other parts of the budget, the cost of that labor perhaps ought to be more, uh, in, un, under election administration, so the actual election administration cost is more visible. I see where you're going with this. That's not my decision. That would be up to the finance. No, it's not your decision. I just want to know if you had an opinion on that. Not Disagreed really. with me on that. I don't really have an opinion on it. Okay, that's fine. There was a comment made about uh, giving pay raises to an elected official in the budget, and uh, it is an interesting little problem given our recent history on that. A few years ago, we, we, uh, in fact, I was an advocate of putting in the budget a significant raise for you, approximately what you're asking for now. Mm -hmm. And then last year, we went to a separate Warren article under the argument that it really is up to the voters to make that call. And so we gave them that opportunity and then we made a call. And now we're back to putting it in the budget, so it's getting confusing exactly how we ought to dr address it. Well, those are the only two options for me, so. Yeah, I know. I wanted, I wanted to give you an opportunity to explain why this is the best option this year versus last year's option. I don't know that one is better than the other, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I thought this way gave me an opportunity to um, explain and back it up by budget presentation where before the selectmen and before you if I were to put it as a warrant article like I did last year I get one opportunity and that's a deliberative session 
Well, we had, we had you an opportunity so. in the budget committee on the Warren article as well, didn't we? You didn't come in on your Warren article in the budget committee? Well, you missed an opportunity. I guess I did. <laughs> I didn't know the opportunity existed. Yeah, all money Warren articles come through this committee, <coughs> and we welcome petitioners to, uh, to make a presentation, okay. typically. Um, that will be coming out a little later, Dean, when we go through all the Warren articles. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was speaking about the past I, uh, mm -hmm. future practice, so it will be reflective of the past practice in that regard. If I might follow up on, on that uh -huh. um, wage increase, in addition to the fact that the town clerk in Hampton is the lowest paid town clerk of all respective, you know, in close to population between 13,000 and 17,000, we're right in the middle. Uh, the tax collector and myself are the two highest revenue generating departments in the town, yet we're the two lowest paid department heads. I think that's an issue as well. The other concern I, I see here is, uh, well, you know, it was interesting that, you know, as I was getting feedback, because, you know, I was very openly supportive of, of the raise in both cases, the <coughs> 2013 budget, the 20, 2014 budget, and the 2015 Warren article. I was openly mm -hmm. supportive. In fact, I believe I was the only budget committee member to speak a diluted section in favor of it. Um, so I do understand, or at least I believe, that, you know, that, that our town clerk's position is underpaid. And I still believe that. But I was getting some rather interesting feedback because of my uh, open support of it from, from voters, which was a bit concerning to me and it's caused me to do some rethinking on that. Um, and I'm not taking a position yet because it's looked like an information. But I did also notice, uh, Mr. Pierce brought up the idea of giving raises to elected officials. We also have a raise in here for the supervisors of the checklist, which are also elected officials. Mm -hmm. Could you explain how that came about? That was requested by the chair chairman of the supervisors of the checklist. I go to her every year and ask her what she needs. Uh -huh. And that was within her request. Did she <coughs> give you a reason for it? Really? Well, they are su especially in an, an election <coughs> year like next year, severely underpaid. Mm -hmm. There was uh, the, I believe it was the 2012 presidential year. Their hourly rate was literally pennies for the number of hours. It's a pretty in. small amount that I'm seeing at 4,300 yeah. bucks. Yeah. How many, how many supervis uh, supervisors three. are there? Three. So that's yeah. 4,300 by three, basically. I'm They're sorry? all paid the same amount in stipend, I assume. Uh, the chairman, I think, is $250 more or $200 more okay. than okay. the other two. And then the but it's more than just the elections that they work at. There's a lot of, course, of yeah. a lot of you know background work that happens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also noticed in the, uh, and I'm curious about this. Uh, you've got under here computer support, which is a. Uh, which section are you in? I'm on page two. It says yearly maintenance fee for registrations and dog licensing. Nine ninety for flyer, basically ninety five hundred bucks. Sorry, where, where I, I know you said page two. Which account are you talking about? Um, zero zero double oh seven <laughs> dot. Okay. Uh, you, you have different page numbers than I have, so that's why I'm asking. Okay. Double oh seven dot four one four zero one dot three four two yes. zero. Yes, that's computer support. That is our maintenance agreement for uh, motor vehicle registrations, dog licensing. Um, it's all of our blue book fee, um, blue book um, like databases yeah. for us to be able to look up values and um, gross vehicle weights on vehicles. Right. Um, that's standard. I mean, that's our, that's our software. It comes from our software provider. Right. I understood. And I, uh, frequently, my understanding is wrong, so you can correct me on it. But uh, my understanding was that the computer systems for those functions were actually uh, dictated or supplied by the state? No. So we went out and bought our own? Yes. The yes. town of Northampton might have a totally different one? Correct. So the state has no, no the connection at all? The this. No. The state has um, browser software for motor vehicles, but it does nothing for us in line of uh, point of sale or dog licensing or Evaluation anything like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. um, 
we operate under Clerkworks is the name of our software. It's fantastic. The support is incredible. They're there for us anytime we need them, even after hours. Is that the vendor's name, Clerkworks? Uh, the vendor's name is Interware Development Company. Okay, great. great. Um, I'll check them out subsequently. They're, they're excellent. They are. Um, I personally would not use the browser. I've heard more town clerks um, with negative feedback. That's on just it. a browser so interface. For a town our size, I don't think it's appropriate. That's merely a browser interface to the state Correct. system, right? Correct. Which is, is, is like uh, you know, 30, 40 years ancient kind of thing, right? You know, I understand. Yeah. Totally. <laughs> I totally understand. Uh, you've got two uh, uh, clerks, I guess, deputy town clerk and a bookkeeper. Noted as both positions under CBA, collective bargaining agreement. Mm -hmm. Same collective bargaining agreement. Yes. Yeah. Is there a raise embedded in there? Um, it is. I don't think this year is. No, I don't think so. I think it end, doesn't end there. I think the contract ends in right. at the end of March. Yeah. Is that yeah. It's, so it's the same as what it is this year. It ends in March of this year or next year? Next year. Next year. And there was no raise for this year in that agreement? That was accounted for in this year's budget. Okay, do you know what that was? Okay, because it's not listed here. Yeah, one and a half. Okay, thanks. Um, thank you, Jane, for being uh, very responsive to my questions. I always appreciate your uh, presentations. You're welcome. Thanks for coming. Is there anyone else? That would like to Sonny? Yeah. Uh, this is just a general comment. This, this, the budget proposal this year is totally different than in the past. Last year's budget book had last year's budget, the actual. Here we just we have nothing to compare. Yeah, you know, I'm not talking the town clerk. I'm talking in general terms. You know, unfortunately, you don't this, all that, so. I'm getting static. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's no way to compare apples to apples because we we just presented the proposed budget and we can't look back until we get the budget book in the same format that we had that we had last year. Yeah, you're squeaking, Sonny. I'm well aware. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't understand. I mean, if you if you look at uh, the OBS two for for this department, the the town clerk. Um, the the computer support that, that you were questioning it in 2014 actual was mm -hmm. nine thousand five dollars and and so you know this this budget for this year is nine thousand two seventeen and looking to go to nine thousand four hundred so it's right here it's not yeah, it's not back realize, here but it's not in the budget book yeah, and I don't well Sonny you have last year's book Huh? You have last year's I book. Well, I mean, I have it right here. Uh, well, it's uh, OBS 2. OBS 2, yeah, yeah, that's what I've been following on. Yeah, that has all the line items. It doesn't OBS 2, Sonny. It doesn't give you all the so details. Yeah. Right. It's up front. Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't... The you, detail supplement. You, you wouldn't have... I wouldn't right. think that you'd have the detail from from last year I in here I by, by, by employee and by... I don't, I don't think you would. But that's no. me. That's me. But anyway. Okay, like, anything else, Sonny? <laughs> I like the phone. No, that's it. I'm not wrong. Is there anyone else to have any? Okay, I just had a couple of little things. Um, and I mean little. Um, to start with, oh, let me start with the big one. I, um, I've been with you for this for a while now. Um, I have to admit, you convinced me a while back of the need for this raise. Um, I want people to understand and and not get into the nine percent number. It's a raise that's long overdue, and I know that we have fought for it in the past. Unfortunately, it didn't get passed, but um, I've been in support of that. Thank so you for that. Thank you for that. On my little things, um, are we buying the boosts? Like some every year? We're replacing them each year. Um, the, the ones we have are so old and falling apart that, and they, there have been times where they have fallen apart with a voter in the booth. Okay. So, you know, little by little we're doing, you know, four at a time. So as we replace four, we remove the old ones. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And 
I told you I had little things. <clears throat> I'm on page three. The food service, that doubled. This, uh, do well, we have a this vendor? Th There's three more elections than last year. Yeah. Okay, so that's what they that's for what the extra. Okay. Yeah. So we don't get the PTA yeah. or anything more anymore? We do. Well, we do when we're at Marston School, but Winnicott, it's not willing to do that, so we just we order from Lena's or Zesto's or whatever. Why wasn't that quadrupled? What's that? Why wasn't it quadrupled, given that it's four times one? We don't necessarily um, know at the time how much it's going to be, uh -huh. but I tried to pull it back a little bit based on what we spent last year. You so know, per, four, time, per four times the amount of one would be a, a, a reasonable estimate right, as well, right? Right, but okay. because we didn't spend all of it for, you know, the, let's say let's say I budgeted $500 and we only spent 300 I tried to pull it back a little bit just to try and make it a little more... So it should be four times three, close. maybe, right? Well, we don't know that because it, we have a presidential year this year, so there's more people working, so okay. we had to have to feed more people at that election <coughs> as well, so... So that might be something we want to consider at our final review is why I'm bringing it up. Good point, Brian. Um, the last thing is, somehow, some way, and I'm not just saying this to you, but everywhere, I don't have a total grasp of it, but supplies and expenses are, expenses are killing us in my mind. Um, I hope sometime we can get a better handle on that. But for now, it is what it is, I guess. Unfortunately, without paper and without pens and without paper clips, we can't do business. <coughs> we, I mean, our office granted our, our motor vehicle registrations that paper that those are printed on come from the state at no charge. But we make, I can't even tell you how many copies a day. Yeah, like I say, this items, is You know what I mean? So as far as that stuff goes, I mean... It's not directed to you, it's yeah. throughout no, no, the no, entire I know. budget. I understand. So, um, it's just a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> um, is that it? Okay, Sandy? Um, Jane, when was the last time you had an increase? 2000... It was either well, 2010 or 2011. I think it was 2011. Okay. I do disagree with you, Mike. You know I will. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, I really um, am a little bit distressed that a salary increase would go on a warrant article. Um, uh, certainly the CBAs belong on warrant articles to warn the public, but I think it is more appropriate that it be in the working budget. It was... It was um I, I don't remember who had, had mentioned before that in a 17-year history we've passed four budgets. It was just one of those things, okay, well, that's not working. <laughs> Let me try a different way. Yeah, that, I know? mean, that's, yeah. That's and that didn't of, work either, so. No, so know, I, I think you really better off in the, in, in the budget. Um, I'm not a big proponent for a lot of warrant articles. So hopefully there'll be enough word getting out there that it's mm -hmm. in the budget and it'll get voted in. As you run nice. a smashing good department. Thank you. Very good. Always you. girls there. I have good, I have good staff. always very pleasant, mm -hmm. more than willing to. I have fantastic staff. I couldn't mm -hmm. do it without them. You do. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Okay, is that it? Okay, Jane. I guess we girls. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your help today, Thank you, Jane. too. No at the last time. <laughs> no problem. Okay, we have tax collector. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. To discuss my huge budget. I have actually one of the uh, smallest budgets in town. And for this year, my two, 2016 budget, the bottom line total is 102,573 which is a 2% increase from last year. The total it's gone up is $2,080. Um, all the changes in my budget, I have a five line item budget. All the changes are except wages are based on the spending history, past spending. Do you want me to go through each one? No. 
Okay. I don't think that's necessary unless someone has a question later, but no, I don't need to. Okay. So I'll just go through the uh, the one that I think is going to be the most important mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. as far as discussion goes. That works and well. um, that's the, um, I, I have five line items, four line items are going down. One is going up, that's the elected officials wages, which I have included the 9% increase for the raise that was recommended by the town manager and approved by the uh, town manager, selectmen and budget committee last year, but didn't go through because the budget didn't pass. Um, and just for a, a little bit of background, as you all are aware, the tax collector and town clerk positions are unique in that we are the only two department heads who are also elected officials. So we're in our own little category. We um, don't get included in the most recent department head raises. We are not included in any union or non-union raises. So um, we are a little, we're separate from everybody else. And as far as I'm told, the only way we can get a raise is to either put it in the budget or put it on a warrant article. Mm -hmm. So every year I've included it in my budget. Um, just a little background again for the last, I've just had my eighth year anniversary with the town. I'm on my third term as tax collector and I've had one raise the entire time. So um, that's the reason why the 9% is in there. Any questions? Okay, any questions? <coughs> no. Tim? You mentioned two ways. Oh, first of all, good evening. Good evening. Uh, you mentioned two ways of getting a, a raise, uh, but there is a third way. Uh, most people know, I think, by now, that once a budget is passed, whether it be a default budget or the proposed budget, mm -hmm. the selectmen have total control over that budget at that point in time. And they can move money from one line item to another as they see prudent. Okay. And so if they saw it prudent to give you a raise, they could do so. So that is a third way. I'm not saying it's practical, but it is a third way. Right, Sandy? <laughs> I, mm, we get very nasty at our selectmen <coughs> when they move money, and we don't <coughs> like it when they do that. Um, so now it's okay. I didn't say it was okay. I said it's a third way. Well, I don't know. I might want to disagree with that. I mean, you think, for example, using a Tom Warren article to achieve no. it is not the right way, no. but you acknowledge it is a right. way. Right? Okay, let's stick with this. So, way, and th this is a Tim, third way. Tim, Tim, let's stick with this. I am. The, um, you have an item in here called uh, MIS. Very interesting, Nick. I have an item called what? Is that MIS for you, or is that, am I on the wrong page? No, no. I guess I am on the wrong You're page. You're going beyond the wrong page. You went below. See, okay. MIS just sticks out in my head, so. <laughs> Not my. <laughs> I guess I turned the page too rapidly. Um, you're, uh, you're asking for, uh, as I understand it, last year we had a uh, part-time assistant town, uh, tax collector, right? A deputy. A deputy. Yes. Assistant deputy. Okay. Yes. A deputy is the right deputy, word. Okay. Yes. All right. So we had a part time deputy tax collector. Yes. Uh, last year. Yes. And then this year that became a full time position, is that correct? It became full time last September. Right. And that and, and that that was that ac that actually increased cost was done by moving money from a different line item to fund that, right? Yes. Right. Well, no, not not at that time. Is, is that what you mean during last year's well, and we've paid for it since, I guess, September, you said, last year, right? Right, but there was actually money in my budget to cover that. Right, other, other subline items in your budget? No. Okay, where were they? The, the, it was in the part-time, it was in the part-time um, wages. Okay. <coughs> the deputy tax collector, being a part-time position, was already being paid out of part-time wages. Yes. And yet there was enough funny, there was enough money left over to pay her full-time pay? In yes. the part-time wages? Yes. How was that? There was always an extra in the part-time wages and in for the deputy when she was part-time because she has to fill in for me if there's, <coughs> excuse me, a reason that I have to be out, whether it be vacation, medical. She also f uh, filled in full-time during um, tax season, which could be six weeks. It could be eight weeks. So, th so there was always like a a little extra in there and then last year um, because she knew she was going full-time she took a lot of time off in the summer which left 
even more extra in there. So it, it basically came out of there. Well, that takes care of 2014. Now moving into 2015, how are we paying for a full time under a default budget, which is of course the same as the previous year? How are we paying for that? Is she taking time off again in 2015? No, she can't. No, she can't because she's full time. She has to. She she either has to be uh, sick, vacation. Um, right. So how are we paying for the increased cost going from part time to full time? I don't think it increased by that much. It, it it's shows still, it's being budgeted yeah, it's at still, thirty-five thousand. I don't know. I don't know about the default budget or not, but that line item, uh, account forty-one fifty-four eleven hundred, regular wages was budgeted uh, actual was zero for 14 and it was budgeted uh for 35,207 for 15 which uh, last yeah. year um I would think those line items would should be the same uh given that we're under a default budget I so. believe we added it to the budget that year and because it became a default budget the next year it remained in the budget it's yeah. I'm taking a whack at that. It's but. still sh she's still it's still falling under the same amount that she was in before because I always had that slight buffer in there to cover the extra hours that now she's already there working anyways. So we've already we've already been budgeting enough money in the part time account to pay for her to become a full time account. Yes. And and because of that extra that's in the part time was in the part time. Right. We were able to continue to fund her part her full time wage. Right which didn't include the benefits exactly right the benefits are actually being fu uh, funded from a, a different under personnel administration and so uh, you know that that's where the bump actually occurred exactly. invisible to your exactly. budget right and invisible to uh, anything except because that all gets stuck into the default budget right so that's where all that increased cost went it was under the, the increase was, was in, in, the, in, in the benefits yes Right, and under personnel. Okay, great. Thank you. And um, she's working, uh, I don't know how many hours she was working prior, but she's apparently been helping you, you know, doing your do job. That's why she's called deputy, right? Right. She so fills in for me when I'm not there, yes. Right. Um, how much more hours is she working now versus previously? Um, seven. She was working about 28 and a half, and it's 35 based on 35 and then she works more um, the office is open 40 hours yeah. our positions are 35 so if I'm not there she works a 40 hour week mm -hmm. if I'm on vacation a 40 hour week um, but basically a 35 so on average seven but there are bumps up and down mostly yes. up but not down right 35 to 40 basically <clears throat> yeah she has to be at 35 yeah. so 7 to 12 more hours per week uh, yes okay great um, is there in this uh, presentation a comparative like Jane provided with regard to other towns? No, I found that difficult for my position. Mm -hmm. um, some towns, the tax collector is the town manager. Others, they're... Now, um, there's an idea. <laughs> others are combined. So I found it difficult to compare. Um, so I don't have a comparison like that. Okay, thanks. No more questions. Thank you very much for your, for your help. You're welcome. Thanks. Anyone else have any questions? Hearing none, thank you very much for coming tonight. All right. Have a good thank evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have the Board of Selectmen. Um, I don't think wants to take that or we want to. I don't think there are any You have any questions? Selectman Bean, you're going to make the presentation, right? <laughs> Same as last year. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, did you want to say anything or we'll just go to question? You go to question, the same as last year's. So. Okay. Mr. Chairman, yes. <clears throat> are we talking about two lines? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think we need a lot of talk either. No. <laughs> I'm just but but I'm all set. You, you must have your opportunity, I realize. I think we all should have an opportunity, don't you think? Um, 
Okay. I'll hold off on that one thing. I mean, if that. you choose to puzzle yourself, that's entirely your choice. Anything else, Steve? I'm all set. Thank right. you very much. Tim? It's not the same as last year. If I'm reading correctly, it's up 5.16%, right? It's up for supplies and expenses, you know, so Yeah, supplies salaries and Salaries are the same. Supplies and expenses are up 160%. 160. Can you speak to that? <coughs> I'll give you the story that I give to everybody when it comes to the budget. Uh, we're in going into the fifth year of a default budget, and uh, the expenses have gone up a little bit over that five year period. Um, the selectmen um, take a lot out of their own pockets, but there are certain things that you have to draw the line on. And those expenses, uh, we, they're pretty scotch on putting in money. Um, but we do. Uh, we do send flowers and, and, uh, and uh, for elected officials and, and appointed officials of the town, past and present, who have passed away, uh, as a memorial to them for their to their families. Uh, and there are incidental expenses. Uh, selectmen travel quite frequently to Concord, uh, and they use a lot of money in gasoline and, and parking and tolls and so on and so forth. Although they don't put in for it all. Um, those expenses continue to go up every year. I guess it's kind of like patriotic purposes that we really didn't do a lot of conversation on. Um, that budget, for instance, pays to put the flags on the graves of the veterans in the cemeteries. And uh, for the last 10 years, the town has appropriated a set amount of money and spent more. It's the same thing that's been going on with the selectors' budget. They have a set amount of money and they, we've been spending more. So what we did is we put the amount they've been spending into the budget. Well, um, I'm not talking about flowers and the patriotic purposes. That's a separate account, which we're not interested in talking about. We already decided that. Um, only supplies and expenses under selectmen. And uh, I would note, this is a this is a side. Uh, what a selectman. Um, when they're properly functioning, spend a lot of time on their, on their in their job. And Three thousand dollars a year is is pretty damn dirt cheap. In fact, you might consider it abusive. That's my opinion. If they're doing their job, that's they would be spending a lot of time. They are. I mean, no, it's hard for us on the budget committee, given that we get paid zero for the amount of time, and we spend a lot of time, not nearly as much as the selectmen, but a considerable amount of time. Those who actually do work on this budget committee. Zero is almost slavery, and so we can we can relate to it on that level. Um, so I'm not wanting to bust up on this thing at all, or the select. But 160 percent on the supplies causes, you know, red flags to pop up, and I'm wondering. I, I've known that there have been a num number of selectmen taking apparently more frequent trips to Concord, uh, representing the presumably representing the town's interest on various matters. Is that the cause of this going up? It's a substantial amount of the, of, of the increase. We, we are uh, lobbying quite hard to get the state to change their allocation of funds coming to the town. Uh -huh. And uh, that requires quite an effort. And our selectmen do go frequently to Concord. Right. Staff goes frequently to Concord. Um, Is that paid out of this line when staff goes there? Uh, no, actually it's paid out of the town manager's account. Okay. Or, or to the individual department account, depending on whether right. or not they have a, they right. have a line there. Uh, when we run out of those funds, we stick it in the selectman's account, if it's a selectman matter. <laughs> uh, we have to stick it someplace, I guess, that's representative of what's being spent. Um, they do a you're correct, they do a lot. It's, mm. It would be a very unusual day that I didn't see at least three selectmen in the office during the course of the day, sometimes for several hours doing work. So uh, that goes on constantly through the entire year. Uh, they're very dedicated to what they're doing. They have a lot of work they do. Um, it's very important they continue to do that work. It gives them the background information to vote on things and mm -hmm. to carry on the, the functions of the town. And we rely upon them heavily to come in and, and tell us what we should be doing, at least under their, their control of the community. They are the corporate officers of the town. Uh, nothing can be done legally or otherwise without their consent. So we do rely heavily upon their interference and interaction uh, in areas where it's necessary. Interesting word, interference. That you use. Kind of <laughs> you'd be surprised. <laughs> Jumped out of my head. You'd be, a, you'd, you'd be surprised how many people want to sue the town because they want money. 
Yeah, they, they run interference for us in a lot of those areas. Well, I, I just uh, wanted to, you know, highlight the fact that it's up 160 percent primarily because of trips to Concord uh, under various guises of representing the town's interests at the State House. That's the primary cause for this 160 percent increase, right? That and the, the materials that have to go there with them uh -huh. will be sent on their behalf, yes. Right. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Okay. Anyone else? Just to point out, and I know you can say this about many of the other line items, <coughs> it's a 160% increase over a bogus <coughs> number. 500 is a default budget, and I don't know, you know, that I guess was based on 2014's budget, but, you know, it, they, we spent $1,298 uh, in, in 14. Through September, we spent 967, so we're on track to spend right. 1300 again, and so I think it's prudent to put the 1300 in the budget you know actually that $500 sum is a, uh, goes back to the year 2000 yeah I mean it, so it's 160 percent increase over yeah, again it's a time when we shouldn't be looking at percentages yeah I mean dollars maybe I but agree. not percentages and I know firsthand they have been going up and back sure yeah. so um, I I hope they continue it just curious, Fred. You said the uh, five hundred goes back to two thousand. Do you know how far back the three thousand dollars per annum for each selectman goes back? Uh, long time yeah. yeah, it goes back a lot of years. years. Like yeah. 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 maybe and twenty or thirty, right? Yeah, yeah it could, could very well be. Could, yeah. could go back twenty. So it's yeah. been a very long time since a raise or an increment was uh, signed in that line item. In fact, during that period of time, there actually was a page increase. Was five. That's right. It used to be thirty-five hundred, didn't it? Wasn't it? They went to they went to thirty-five hundred so one year, and then they backed it out because the default. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. So that that was in two thousand four-ish. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was a board of selectmen voted themselves a pay decrease from thirty five hundred per year to three thousand, right? Right, but it would, had been three thousand. They'd give themselves a raise, and because of the default, they switched it back. It was all almost instantaneous. Oh, okay. time wise, interesting. Almost, Thank right? you. What, within Thank one year. That's interesting right. little bit of history. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very similar to the Hampton School Board. Yeah. Yes. It was enough for Mr. Pierce to retire. All right. Um, <laughs> if no one else has any other questions. None of the rest of us did. <laughs> yeah, aren't you, aren't you glad I did? No, hey, we're all set very on that. Thank you very much. Thank you. And the miscellaneous committee. Are we doing the town manager's budget tonight? No, no, you're not. Okay. No. Right. What, what page would that be, Brian? That's a good question because that one caught me too. Yeah. We might want to push that off for the next meeting because I'm not sure what what um I mean. I think she meant the, yeah, the school report that the um Hampton No, I think she had something else. But anyway, look, yeah, we'll just um bypass that, that and we'll talk to her. Yeah, that wasn't on the original calendar. The yeah, miscellaneous no, it's committees. Not there. Okay. Right, it's the one I have yeah. last one I have for so we'll just go on. It might have been just like you said. Yes. This is a, a working session for the budget, yes. mm -hmm. and and we just met a little bit ago for our regular monthly. Do we need to address items thirteen through seventeen? I mean, it's not a. No. It's not a I we, put them on there because I was kind of following the budget. I was doing the agenda. We want to talk Scott, last minute. I printed these seconds before I get up. If, if your intention is to suggest an adjournment, then I second your motion <laughs> to adjourn. How's that? Well, I, no, I, I just didn't. I, uh, th I thought that this was a, a work session, not a regular. It is. Know? Right. It so generally is. Yeah. Uh, it's, like I say, I'm kind of flying. Okay. All right. Well, um, however you I want to do, do have it, one other little thing. And it's a real little thing before we adjourn. Is this old business or new business? <laughs> um, this is um, what we did tonight. I need a motion to move all final decisions from tonight to the final review. No, you don't. I don't need to do that. We're not going to make any decisions until we get to the final review. That's, that's, what, that. that's exactly why I'm saying it. We've already that. done We're that. We're moving now. these to the final review. You don't need to do that. We're well, already, we've already, we already done that. that. We, did that. That's we did that the last meeting. We decided we were not going to vote on any line item right. until the we are final not, review. I am just, we are going to do this as a part of the procedure. No, you, I'm you just voted. asking to move these to the final review. We already decided that last meeting. We weren't going to make any motions like that, period. Right. 
It's already it's been assumed it's going to go to that meeting. We voted last, last week as a full board. Yes. Well, um, we don't need to do this. Procedural. I know we don't, but it's a procedural move. Okay. Uh, I, I won't support for a motion to move everything done tonight. I won't make the motion because it's already been decided. Again, it's for me either. I will make a motion to adjourn. I second that. I second Thank that. you. Thank you for your help. What time? Time, Brian. Time is 8. 55. Okay, thank you, Channel 22. I thought I was stubborn. Thank you for your help. Thank, thank you, you, one and all. Just good job.